Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So currently, AR, artificial intelligence, is a feature or a service that exists inside another app, like Copilot in Microsoft Edge, as an example, or Copilot in Word, or Copilot in Outlook, just to mention some examples, or as a standalone app, like Copilot itself on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, just to let you know, and as published by Windows Central, two articles will be in the description if you'd like some more information. Microsoft has posted a new video over on YouTube that seems to be the first in an upcoming series of videos dubbed Windows 2030 Vision, where it outlines its vision for the future of Windows over the next five years. And the first episode features David Weston, who's Microsoft's Corporate Vice President of Enterprise and Security, who says in the video, and I'm quoting, the world of mousing and keyboarding around will feel as alien as it does to Gen Z using MS-DOS. <laughs> it seems that Microsoft wants to see a platform that's built from the ground up with AR that's woven through the OS as an agentic assistant that can orchestrate apps and workflows on your behalf. Now, in case you're wondering what agentic means, a brief summary would be agentic means having the capacity to act independently and influence outcomes rather than simply reacting to external forces. That's just a brief summary. So here's the important bits that David Weston has had to say, and I'm quoting. In five years, I strongly believe you'll be able to hire a security expert, but actually under the hood. It's an AI agent. The way you interact will be a lot like you do with humans today. You'll talk to them in Microsoft Teams. They'll join meetings. You'll send them emails and assign them tasks. So in your daily work life, that will set folks up to do less of what we call the so-called toil work, the work we don't love today, and allow you to focus on what humans are good at, Ideation, creativity, vision, connecting with humans on what products are necessary. These agents will be net amplifiers and will enable us to do things we could only dream of just a few years ago, says Weston. And when it comes to your actual interaction and how you input into the OS, this is what Weston has had to say. And I'm quoting once again. I think we will do less with our eyes and more talking to our computers. And I truly believe that a future version of Windows and other Microsoft operating systems will interact in a multimodal way. The computer will be able to see what we see, hear what we hear, and we can talk to it and ask it to do much more sophisticated things. I think it will be a much more natural form of communication. And as mentioned, the world of mousing around and typing will feel as alien as it does to Gen Z to use MS-DOS. Quote, unquote. So some interesting stuff taken from that interview. So by what he's saying, it seems that the vision can be extended to an entire desktop operating system, not just standalone apps like we currently have. And it seems that you'll be able to end up replacing your mouse cursor, as an example, with your voice. So instead of manually clicking on buttons and menus, to complete tasks, you'll just ask Copilot to get a task done for you. Now, I think the big question here is, what about Windows 12? So, does it mean that we're getting close to a radical new Windows experience with Windows 12? And I do agree with Windows Central on this one. I don't think so, at least not right now. We're probably still a long way off from an agentic OS, basically being able to think for itself, becoming mainstream. But it does seem clear that the groundwork is already been laid by Microsoft. And when it comes to Windows 12, Microsoft has never officially confirmed a Windows 12. And what Windows 12 might actually look like, the details are very scarce. And I'll leave a playlist in the end screen of this video regarding Windows 12 if you'd like some more information. It's called Windows 12 Rumors. And besides some concept art, which we have featured previously on the channel, 
becoming available a year or two ago of what a possible Windows 12 desktop could most probably look like and other teasers from old Microsoft videos that's all the details we basically have regarding Windows 12 but I think one thing you can bet your money on is deeper AR and Copilot integration in a future version of Windows be that Windows 12, 13, 14, 15 you get the point and according to Windows Central getting back to Microsoft Edge the recent Copilot mode in Microsoft Edge could be a way that Microsoft is starting to test some of the technology that has been spoken about in this video that will power the so-called AR future that Microsoft is now starting to talk about when it comes to an agentic OS and in fact Microsoft's CEO has also said in the past and I'm quoting AR will fundamentally change what an operating system is what a UI looks like and how application interaction goes quote unquote which at the end of the day basically implies this is where Microsoft and Windows is inevitably headed so what do you guys think move in the right direction by Microsoft or not do you agree with all of this let me know your thoughts so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one